I want to thank the Illinois Muslim Civic Coalition uh, for the invitation to this uh, really important conversation. And I think it's really something special to be able to share your own Muslim story. I grew up in the city of Chicago, then moved to the suburbs, and now I currently reside in Springfield. And in each of those locations have found a really passionate, a really diverse, and a really moving set of individuals that have worked to sort of guide their faith into the greater American story. It has been such an honor since I've been in this position now nearly two months to have gotten such incredible support and such incredible words of congratulations as I have tried to think through the many ways that we can sort of build a healthier system here in Illinois post the COVID-19 pandemic. And to this point, I think that Dr. Latif articulated, much of that means understanding the intricacies of various populations across the state of Illinois, what their individual culture and upbringing and how it sort of relates to their ultimate health outcomes. And this, I think, incredible report that came through from the, Isla, the Illinois Muslim Civic Coalition, the Institute for Social Policy and Understanding, and the UIC Institute for Policy and Civic Engagement, is it really dove deep into where some of the immediate challenges for our Muslim brothers and sisters are. Two sort of really important pieces that when I reviewed the report really sort of rung true is that one of the needs was access to appropriate health care. One quarter of Illinois Muslim respondents said that they needed immediate care in the past year and they reported that they don't always or sometimes or never get that immediate care. Second, one of the other needs was affordable culturally appropriate mental health services. And that Muslims within the sample were less likely than the general public to seek out therapy services. Only 13% of Muslims compared to 24% of the general population, despite suffering from mental illness symptoms at the same rate as the general Illinois population. And what that tells me is that there are still many, many barriers for our Muslim individuals. And we just saw from that slide from Dr. Latif, more Muslims in Illinois than any other state, that they're not giving, and we're not sort of extending the appropriate universal healthcare opportunities to extend their hands and say that, well, we need to find the right culturally appropriate be culturally humble in our healthcare system to understand the needs of our Muslim populations, but also even more broadly, understand how diverse and different our Muslim populations are. And I think that is true, not just for Muslim populations, but populations of every ethnicity and faith all across Illinois. Much of that is sort of getting the right access to getting the right training, but also then thinking through what it means to build the right system. We need to have individuals readily available to sort of provide that access. We need to sort of create the understanding of what that access means. And then we also need to sort of figure out how to deliver those culturally appropriate systems. And to that, it's not just the healthcare system but the total community system in which people think through health and healthcare delivery services. And often to that, I, I think through the social and structural determinants of health. That in order to build the right kind of system where people are the healthiest, we need to think through the root causes of what makes somebody healthy or unhealthy. And often that's issues like poverty and that's issues like education. And really building the greater health system means really understanding all of those social issues as well. And so as I wrap up these brief remarks, I want to say that as the new leader of the Illinois Department of Public Health, 
it is my sort of mission to better understand each and every community. As a Muslim myself, the Muslim community holds such a deep place in my heart and want to figure out the right ways to learn from all of you, but also engage in building the right systems to move us forward.